All right. First thing I've got to do today is cut up clay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm using a uh, drywall tool. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm at a total loss right now where to start today. I don't know where to go from here. I guess the best way to get going is just start. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to get this hood worked out to see if it's actually going to work out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I've got this old antique uh, uh, kitchen tool. I'm going to use it to kind of shape the clay a little bit. You can find a use for almost anything. <laughs> I've got to have some wrinkles because it is fabric. It's a uh, wool, but it's going to have uh, a fabric look to it. I guess when you're at a loss where to start, you just start. <laughs>
there are lapels on this uh, coat. Yeah, that's the only way I can describe them. They uh, wrap over each other and give a double layer on the front of his chest to uh, protect him from the cold. And uh, see if I can get a picture and show you. You can see it in this uh, photograph of uh, a warrior with a Hudson Bay blanket. And you can see the wide lapels right there. Let's see if I can find another picture. This one doesn't have them. It's more of a straight type of uh, lapel, but I'm gonna go with the uh, wide lapel. You can see it on this too. And it actually is attached to the uh, the hood and it's got some stitching around the edges of it. So <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna think, what I'm thinking of doing here. There's some fringe, some uh, trade cloth fringe. I mean, not trade cloth, but trade blanket fringe. But it's wide fringe, and it's more of a design, you know, for looks than actual. I don't know if it served a purpose or not, but it, it could be just something to spark up the uh, design of the coat. I, you know, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do that, and I've got uh, that one photograph of the uh, warrior, and it had that same type of fringe right down the uh, seam of the uh, top of the jacket here. It's hard to go from the initial design to a new design, and... Uh, it makes it more difficult, but it can be done, but it's just harder. All right, I've uh, cut some of this fringe. For the hat. got to uh, have it all the same distance from the edge of the hood. I've got to arrange it so that it can be cast. This is going to make it very expensive. I got to make sure it is the same distance from the edge all the way around. I can fill in behind some of this fringe to make it just a little easier for them to make a mold of it. It still ain't going to be easy to make a mold of it, but I can try to make it as easy as possible.
this may seem easy to you, but I, <laughs> this is really stressful because it could screw up the whole design of the thing if it's not done right, and I gotta be able to cast it. I gotta constantly keep in mind what it's gonna cost to uh, reproduce in bronze. And if I make it too difficult to uh, cast or make a mold of, it makes it very expensive to the potential client. And I'm trying to save them as much money as I can. I know that sounds weird, but I don't make any more. I make less if I can't sell a bronze because it's too expensive. I like the way it's coming out so far. Okay, I'm trying to put a rough texture on uh, the clay. This will uh, give it the look of a heavy material, I think. And it also adds to the design of the piece. So I'm trying to I'm using a serrated edge tool to put uh, some texture into the clay. All right, I'm going to have to call it quits because this is taking me longer than expected because I had to cut the clay up and then I had to wait for the clay to soften enough to work with. It was still kind of hard, even though it cut easily. It was, uh, it needed to soften up just a little bit more. I will be here tomorrow, but that will be the last day this week yeah. because I'm going to take off the rest of the week for Christmas. And I uh, hope you guys don't mind. So anyway, till tomorrow, I'll see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.